like a father figure, you know, he's just like a caring father. Richard was the last constituent Sir David Amos spoke to just minutes before he died. On Friday, I was meeting him at 11.45 and we agreed to meet on Zoom. So he was on Zoom on the Wi-Fi and I was in my office. Ran slightly over to 12.02, I think it was, and then I only find out later that at 12.05, this heinous act happened. I mean, absolutely shocked to the core. And I had Sky News on um, in the background and I heard the first reports and it hadn't even named who it was. But I thought, hold on, I recognise that location. I'm thinking, hold on. Well, I, so I started fearing the worst, and it went, every minute seemed like an hour. This was taken in July this year. It was a joint party. The two shared a passion for getting more young people involved in politics and had become good friends. They were due to meet again in a few days. The thing that really captured him, and he really ran with, was this children's parliament idea. And... Um, he made it his. We talked a month or so ago about how wonderful it would be if the adult Speaker of the House was to be engaged with us. And he was going to ask Sir Lindsay Hoyle um, a video message for the kids and also a photo with the head teacher champion. The disbelief at the loss of this much respected man is shared across this town. But for Sir David's friends, it's all consuming. Sally had been a close confidant for more than 20 years. I feel absolutely devastated because on a personal level, he was always there for me. He's left a massive hole in South End in my life as well because um, I loved him dearly. And um, uh, I don't think it's really sunk in that he's not, I'm never going to see him again. But fortunately, I've got so many precious memories that uh, the memories will have to sustain. Sir David felt like a friend to Lola too, as well as an inspiration. She'd met the MP a number of times as the children's parliament representative for the local area. A legacy that perhaps leaves a glimmer of hope for the future of Southend. But many won't forget their neighbour, their MP, but most of all, their friend. Ashna Haranag Sky News in Leon Sea.